My name's Overboost MPH, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the perfect graphics in BeamNG Drive. So it's really easy. Uh, this is what it will look like, roughly. Uh, this is not the perfect example, but it's pretty much close on to what it's going to look like. So you're going to need two things. I'm going to put both of them in the description. Uh, you're going to need the Overboost MPH pr uh, preset. Uh, that will be the graphics itself, what the setup I've chosen. You can, once you go in the game, you can readjust it if you want to. It's up to you. But first of all, you're going to need to go to Google. And you're going to go reshade.me. I'll also put this in the uh, description as well, so you can just download the link. Click, uh, and then just click download. And when you click on download, just click on the first 5.4.1. Once you have downloaded... Uh, open up the execute and you're going to want to look for Beam and G Drive 64-bit uh, which is this one here once you've clicked that you go direct X12 uh, at 10, 11 and 12 uh, you also won't say modify but because I've got it installed mine says modify so you you will have to just click uh, continue I select a preset, yours won't have a preset, just ignore that, just go to skip or next. And this one here, uh, select effects packages to install, you want to untick all and tick all. Check all. So every single one is checked. You want to press next and let it download and install all of the, pre uh, all of the effects and everything like that. Once you have done, you have successfully installed your reshade. <laughs> So what now? Once you've done that, you uh, just want to go to your BeamNG Drive directory folder. So that will be in the C programs or wherever you've installed it on your backup hard drive or anything. Programs for me: it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and BeamNG Drive. And when you get into BeamNG Drive, you want to go to Bin64, and the preset that I have put in the description for you will be called Overboost MPH Preset. Once you've downloaded and dragged that to your desktop, which will be this one here, you just want to drag that into the main directory uh, of BeamNG Drive in the bin 64. Uh, mine's obviously replaced because I've already got one in there, but once you've loaded that and you've installed it, you can go ahead and load BeamNG Drive. Once you've loaded BeamNG Drive, you can press the home button on your keypad. Um, and you're going to want to go to the very top, and you're going to want to select on the bar, blue bar, next to the two arrows. And you'll see the Overboost MPH preset install uh, folder. You just want to click select, and you have done. You can reload or you can adjust the effects on how you want to. It's up to you. Um, I've adjusted it so it works for myself. But uh, let me choose time of day. I prefer the evening. Just looks nice. And then just choose a vehicle of your choice. Do whatever you like. I haven't got anything major, but slow this up. Just drive. If you want to go full out, I can also put the link in the description for the trailer and tractor, or as they call it, the lorry. Um, so you get all these skins. Oh, I don't know what one to choose. So many to choose from. Auto Express again. I like this one. It's my favourite. If you have a close look at all the details, you can see that it does look a lot better. 
The tyres look better, the formation looks better, the textures look cleaner. Well if you enjoyed this video remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll speak to you in the next video. Don't you